Now, I don't even know whether to call it good or bad news. IO17 has been trending for quite a while now, and we've been getting updates on and updates off, and you know, supported devices on, supported devices off. Hell, we thought the IO17 was not going to carry the iPhones 8, 8 Plus, and X, and all of a sudden we had it was going to take them. Well, we did hear a bunch of things like a few hours ago or let's just say a day ago and that's that Apple is going to finally allow side loading on iOS 17 to comply with European Union regulations now this is good and bad news good and terrible news not just bad oh personally I don't even like this kind of update you know the fact that iOS doesn't really allow side loading was one of the main since I made this iOS. So basically, the EU is taking Apple's identity away from them, and I feel that's a very crappy thing to do. Now, personally, I don't like this change, and this is why. Side loading is a direct cause of problems on Android. That's what makes Android such a funny operating system. That's what makes everything just clustered and miscellaneous on Android. Everything just seems like they don't work together, and that's because of side loading. Now it contributes to lower quality apps on Android also. Yeah. The funny thing is that most developers are putting less work in their Android apps because they're kind of scared that their apps are gonna get pirated or murdered. But when you see an iOS app, you see how much effort is put into it. Yeah. When you compare what's app on Android and on iOS, you will definitely see some kind of distinction. That's because iOS app stores are way more trustworthy. For the apps to remain as they are which is why developers are more than happy to put in the work and then funny enough side loading is not even the only reason why android apps are lower quality there are many other factors side loading is just one of them when we talk about compatibility you know they have to make android apps as compatible with many devices as possible yeah because you know you can't really tell which device the app is going to be stored on which is why they make the apps lower quality just to make sure it can carry a Samsung and an iTel one and the same. Look, look, I am fully aware of the benefits of side loading in some cases, some rare cases. Some people use it to play emulated games. Some people also use it to get apps that they purchased long ago that are no longer available on the App Store on the Play Store. But the cons outweigh the benefits that is on iOS that is because iOS I'm very ready when sorry, yeah, sorry story does, but I'm very ready far gone iOS still has a chance to stop this madness. Every person that plays an online game, they all have to do with cheaters using modded APQs. That's like the main negative cause of side loading because it's not fair. You walked your way all up to get to a certain level of an online game and someone just comes because they have the codes and they just shoot through walls. You know, some mini militia shit right there. Look, in short, if side loading benefits about 1500 people it causes harm to a million people let's play like that so like it doesn't really make much sense for the EU to force Apple to really hurt their identity or what makes them who they are so you see side loading is something people say is also on Apple's Mac OS and it doesn't affect users negatively so why would it affect iOS users? Look, you can't compare Mac OS and iOS. Mac OS is a computer slash desktop OS meant for productivity, while iOS is consumer based. It's meant to be for people that have something reliable to use for the planet. Yeah, having choices is good. Yeah, having choices between side loading and not is also good. But that's how you have the Android OS in the first place. If you want side loading, go to Android for God's sake. Now let's talk about the impact of malware. Look, I know most tech savvy people don't get malware on their Android phone due to side loading. It's not even about you. This post, this tweet, everything, this video is not about you tech savvy. It's about the regular consumers, like the aged people and you know, parents and you know, not everyone knows about side loading. That's why Android even tries to hide the option nowadays and hide it under some kind of settings that will make you not able to access it easily so like i believe the side loading we will see on ios won't even be the same as android because apple knows everything i've just said and they just would dump their 
biggest selling point just for the EU. Yep. So I hope iOS side building has some sort of apples here to make it more controlled, which will be great. Yeah, because it could open third party installs while keeping their sources still controlled. Yeah, I hope I made some kind of sense of talking about side loading because trust me, that's really going to cause a ton of problems if we push on with it. And let's hope iOS 17 has the other nice features I've talked about, like the control center and other changes. Yep. So, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you out.